Right, hey guys, and welcome back to episode 14, Survival Challenge. So, you can see that I've not been leasing anything. That's all my items. There's nothing in the sales, I've already done my checks this morning. We are still in the same episode as the previous episode. There's a problem. Did I put in? Yes, I didn't put soy beans in. The price for soya beans is good in... I'm just thinking just to get some, probably some cash, but... I'm also thinking for productions. It's good now. One, two, oh, one. One, two, two, one, two, eight. Hang on. The price is going down. The price is decreasing. I'm not selling it at that price. So, yeah, we've got pallets spawning out of my ears. Again, we do need a forklift to pick them up. I know we've got the liftable pallet mod installed, which for this episode, until we can get a forklift, that may have to be done. Or a front loader for the tractor. A front loader will go on the tractor. We have... In the previous episode, you saw the new Holland come to the farm via a collectible. Well, the far combine came out on Mod Hub. This combine is by EY Modern. It is available on all platforms. It finally came out on Mod Hub. We haven't got it for the corn header yet, but we have got the grain header. And I thought, well, I might as well. So what happened really is we did use a collectible, yes. And I have managed to get the money back down to the thing by leasing out machines, but not actually using them. But. We were using that combine on demo to see if we did like it, and if we did like it, then we could have kept it. But I did want to come back to this because this is more our capabilities and our standards. I have put in the higher horsepower engine upgrade as well. Everything else on the farm is still the same how we left it. So, what I will want to do now is I would like to. Plow up that field because it needs plowing. And it will need stone picking. Which. This is why I don't need stone mods, but no, Yes, I know there's no field helper. So I just need to find out where we are because. Well, there's no point climbing up where we don't own. Hang on. Yeah, there's no point climbing up where we don't own, and then we should be able to do this at the required horsepower speed. Someone might say to me, yeah, I might as well use a... I might as well put it on the front three point linkage. This tractor does not have a three point linkage. We've already tested stuff with that, like weights. And also, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't dream of being unrealistic on this series. So, where do we go? There. It's going to stop that. There we go. So, yes, we are just going to. Now up, and yes, stones are coming off the field again. And I'm, I'm not really buffered as long as the field can get ploughed. That's all my concerns are. So, how is everybody in, in today's episode? Which hopefully will be out in the beginning of next week. I'm okay. Just been recording some FS22 content. I 
And sorry for the guys who are asking about multiplayer. I I will post a message over in Discord about it, but I did message a few of you individually what's happening. I just can't. I'm not going to say I know what say on camera. So again, I am going close to the fence. And I did have them in the shed. Yes, that's a good point. I've been removing mods today. Some mods that I don't use anymore. I realise now that I've used that shed. Okay, I don't know which shed it was, so I'm not even. I'm not looking around for um, shapes. You can have that. Yeah, so d hopefully we can get quite a bit done today. I just wish there was more of a realistic plow. Well, when I say realistic, more of a higher horsepower. More of a plow that's more capable with this tractor. But because we found this in the sale, we just have to take it. There's no point just giving it away. There's no point grumbling up, there's no point complaining over spilt milk. Oh, that's what they say anyway. But, I'm just trying to get everything really settled up. And then we've got a field to work on. If we'll I go too far to the edge, it won't let us use the field. So I do like to try and keep to a minimum where we go to. Maybe just on the border. But yes, I wish we had a three point then, kids. So I will put this onto a time lapse, and a very, and I mean a very short time lapse. And. For you, you'll probably see me in about up to at least, it be, won't be much longer than a minute. For me, it'd be about 10 years down the line. But yes, unless we run out of fuel, I will see you shortly. Bye for now.
just like every different season, yo. Sometimes I'm not other back. Track two is dead. It needs refueling. So we'll have to nip into town and we'll have to get some fuel tanks. I have been holding off getting the mobile fuel tank. The only reason is because we didn't have to we didn't we didn't have the funds for it. But now now I've got the funds for it. I think we may as well. Well, we may as well take it. It's a once in a lifetime thing. We won't need it when we get some extra funds to us. But we will need it today. And it will come in handy for us on the farm. So I will go and see this li lovely lady at the dealership, unless she's disappearing. Hello? No, you haven't got it used. Oh, wouldn't it be lovely used? I suppose I can't have everything used. There we go. Done. Hang on. So it's let me get into the fuel tank. Well, not into the actual car. How strange. How strange is it doing today? What's it doing to me? Well, I'm surprised I even got to dare, actually. In the old time lapse that I have just done, which will be going on to the f the most longest time lapse I've ever done in a let's play, I'm surprised I got today in the field. But now we've got this fuel browser, blou browser, then it should last us for many months or many years even. So usually I wouldn't want to drive on the field, but because we have no other choice, then we're just going to have to. And I would just normally park up there like that. So I will bring you back in once this is filled. This field now, guys, is completed. We have extended the field now. So now we have got now a fully extendable, extendable field, which is, well, it's better to what it was. So I'll just probably just give it a quick save. As you know, we've had crashes before. I won't say anything. Touch wood. But. It looks, it looks better now. It looks much wider. I know there's rocks in it. But the field now, we can put a nice decent crop in it. I was thinking sugar beet, but I'm thinking of putting that in a heart set field. I'm thinking of putting canola up here. Obviously these stones will have to go first. can get my hands on a bigger stone picker which will be again nice to do but we can't afford to be doing circumcising that yet so next jobs for today are probably working on the land I'm going to cut down a few more trees, not in any sort of time lapse or anything, just at my own pace. And I'm just going to spend a few more, I'm just going to spend a few hours just cutting down some trees off camera. So I'll do that now and I'll bring you back in when I've, I've 
bought and enough money for the farm, so I'll just show you guys what I'm doing. I'm just working my way across and back. And it's also just enough so that we can be able to buy a bigger stone. Hmm. Well, one of them may just do it, so I just use this one. This one will be able to sort that one out. There we go, perfect. It's just this one now, see where the stump is. At the edge of the stump will do. Oh no, 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 no. Well, if it wants to go to the edge of the field, I'm more than happy for it. Right then, hey guys, and welcome back to the episode. Let me just check my volume, so yes. So, I have just been sawing away at trees. I used the mobile workshop to sell them because some of them I couldn't pick up. We are now up to our border, so that's everything I've been cutting down. Don't it look different? But, it has to be done. If need be, we can cut these ones down. That's the last thing I really want to do. If anything, I want to. I don't really want to cut these down, but some of them can go and some of them can't go. Probably around the house. But not on there, really. It's nice to have some trees, and no, I do not like cutting trees down in real life before anyone asks. But no, these are our boundary. We cannot go sawing these down at any cost. Not even that one. Not even that one. I think we've still got possibility of sawing that one. Nope. Oh my god, I think we actually have gone to the boundary. That one can, can still sail down. Oh my Jesus. Right. So we know which one's on our boundary. I am going to put a marking somewhere. And the marking would like to go there. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to take it into landscaping. I am going to put down... Well, the texture for a rock. Well, actually, maybe not. Maybe... Maybe not. What I will do, I think, because I will probably do something really terrible. Start our land from there. From there. There. It could just go there. Wait, oh no, no, no. I don't want to do any. F right, maybe not. Maybe just the rock texture. Why has it not gone down my money? That is strange. If I got a texture, is it? Texturing issue? Or is it my game sensitive to something? Don't know. No idea, but we have done it. We've done something to it. And I'm not saying we've done anything to it because it's just. I've not even used a texturing tool today. But no, interactive German markers, they need to be shut off. And I think, well, we have got the money for a bigger stone picker, but I would like to, I just want, I want to rest and I want to see what the farm looks like tomorrow. Maybe there's crops ready to harvest, maybe there's something to use machinery sale. So I will just quickly rest over till tomorrow, 8 o'clock. And yes, 
there is no virtual charge yet on the farm. Thank goodness for that. He was in series one and he was a pig. So, oh my lord, this crop is ready to harvest, I take it. Which is good because it means that, well, hang on, we've got barley ready to harvest and we've got oats ready to harvest. That will be done in the next episode. What I do want to know is what's happening with this very, very close field. It's a close save, everybody. <laughs> a close shave. Oh, God. Oh, nice. We have got a straw blower there, but... Um, I don't want it. I don't want to keep buying equipment. Pointless equipment, really. Apart from a stone picker. But no. The next episode we'll encounter was harvesting. And probably it'll maybe get us cultivating. Both fields will be dropping straw. And for now, guys, I think I'm going to leave the episode here. Just because I feel that I've done everything that I wanted to get done in this episode. I wasn't expecting to harvest. Let me know what we should do with the trees that we have cut down and sold. Let me know what we should put here. Should we go for some sort of production factory? Should we get a greenhouse? Or should we? Because I did, I do want to do this. Demolish this farmhouse. I know we won't get anything back for it. And build this farmhouse out here. By the woods. The farmhouse I was thinking to go anyway was... I'll just find it. Not a residential container. I was thinking that one, but obviously we can't afford it. It's that one. Obviously we can't afford it, but that will be one that we'll go for in the future. But I was thinking... This one for 18,000. Or Hobo's house. And at least we've got some vegetable patches on the walls. And we've got a house that we can actually go in and sleep. Because then we can have more of the farm on that side and we have this house on this side. I'm thinking of doing that to the farm, but yeah, let me know if we should do, if we should have the house here, and maybe we can have a garden area here, us drive, coming from here, from the island to the drive, or across the bridge somewhere, which there will be a bridge going across the water, let us know if we should put a house on here, and yes, this shed will also be moved soon later. I'll probably be looking around for some smaller sheds. Probably just to go, well, I don't even want to, I, I want to move that shed, but mm, it's one of those things, where would I put it if I moved it? Obviously I could put it round here, on here would make it much nicer it would keep the machines away from the animals hmm and as Laffle to it Lafferty which is our office would also come to our just house that's not going anywhere else that chick might even stay there I don't know I'll think of something but yes, until the next episode, guys, I hope to see you all again soon, and bye for now.